So one of the greatest things about you know being a family business, a family-run dairy farm, is I get to work with my parents, and, and you know more specifically, I get to work with my dad every day, and we, we share the same passions, we share the same vision for the business. So when I came back from college, we were milking about 300 cows in the facility that was built in the in between the 1960s and the early 1990s. Um, you know, we just kind of kept adding on to it. But we'd been at that 300 cow mark for a long time. You know, we could see with the business that that wasn't the right size for us. We were too big to be a small farm and too small to be a big farm. We we couldn't do the quality of work that we wanted to do. We, we had some small expansions planned, but it wasn't gonna allow us to grow in the future. So finally, we, we took a couple years and really focused on the financials of the business and getting really good at where we were, um, and then pulled the trigger in 2006, built a brand new green site facility. So it, it was literally a cornfield the fall before. The following spring, we started construction on a 600 cow barn and a brand new milking parlor. That's the same year I came back from Cornell. With the, the building of the new facility, there was, a, there was a space for me here, there was a need for me here, so came back to the dairy and was able to, you know, just kind of alleviate some of the pressure with dad spending all of, a lot of his time worrying about this huge investment and new expansion that we were building. I could take some of the burden off just helping out where I could. So one of the greatest things about you know being a family business, a family-run dairy farm, is I get to work with my parents, and, and you know more specifically, I get to work with my dad every day, and we, we share the same passions, we share the same vision for the business. But there is a generational difference, right? There, there's differences in how we approach not only work but you know our, our social priorities and things like that. Growing up, you know we were a lot smaller dairy, so he didn't have as many employees that he could fall back on and and couldn't really approach things as a group so you know it was it was all on him and you know as as we've grown and and i you know i've started a family or whatever you know that allows me a little bit more flexibility with my personal time right i can go to my daughter's dance recitals i can go to their gymnastic meets you know uh, my wife and i love the adirondack so we can go up there and go hiking and stuff like that and it's not necessarily things that my parents were able to do, but it's something that I think we, we've worked really hard to be able to get there and, and really focus on family as much as, as the business. A lot of the assumptions, you know, dairy farming is a 24 hour a day, 365 day a year job. And while, you know, it, it is a lot more than a nine to five, you know, and these animals need our care and our responsibility. We're, we're people with lives and, and families and interests and hobbies as well. So, you know, that's one of the beautiful things about, you know, approaching this with, you know, with a team approach and having a great group of employees and other family members that we can trust that you know, we, we can take some time off and, and stuff that you know, and I, I think that's something I, that's really changing with the industry as this generation and my generation's coming up, trying to find a, that better balance. So, you know, our farm here is located in Copenhagen, New York. We have 1,200 and so odd cows over here, and there's, you know, that's, that's over double the population of, of our local community. You know, but it's, it's very important to be a part of this community, not only as an employer, but just as a, a member of it. You know, we, we try to be involved on, on local boards, um, you know, so some of the stuff that we sponsor, you know, helps the community, but it's also things that we're passionate about. So there's a, a healthy kids running series in the, in the community, and it's geared to get kids active and, and running. You know, my girls are a part of it. And after the first season that we did it, we thought, you know, boy, what a great opportunity to sponsor this and to get chocolate milk out to all the kids after the race, right? It's the perfect refueling food, um, help, you know, so it's a, a two things, right? It helps support something we're passionate about, but it also gets the word out, you know, the nutritious dairy products that we produce and how good they can be for you. 
people don't necessarily, I think, think of dairy farms as economic drivers, you know, but we're part of a very small community here in, in northern New York. We have 18 full-time employees, so, you know, we are an economic driver. We do have economic impacts here, you know, and, and we've got families that work here. Right now on the crop scene, you know, there's a set of brothers that work here. We've got three brothers that go, you know, our head feeder, our calf manager, and then one of our new hires, you know, our, our three brothers. So that sense of community, that sense of family, I think really shines through when there's so many families working here on the farm.